Welcome to the Brooks Computing Systems Enhanced Entity Data Modeling Tutorial. To begin our exercise, we will create a new Enhanced Entity Relationship Model. To change the default name of the database, simply double click and uh, this uh, window will appear and then you can go ahead and uh, give it a new name and then simply click on the X and it'll prompt you to rename all scheme of occurrences and you can say yes the reason why that this particular tool does this is it allows you to change that uh, schema name at any time And now we're ready to create our first table. So we'll just simply double click on the add table. And uh, that brings up uh, this particular dialog. And we'll give it a name of class underscore pro. And uh, here it will be nice if you want to give it some type of comments. And so now we're ready to name our columns. And we'll just change this name to CLID. And we see that it is an integer type. We want to make this particular one auto increment. Now we want to continue to create the next data element which is pro key and it has a value of 75 characters and it is non-numeric and then also there is a line data element that is associated with this particular table and its length is 125 characters Note in this example, the PK is checked next to the uh, class ID field, which tells it that it is a, a primary key. And then as mentioned before, we also have the auto increment attribute enabled for that particular uh, data element. And so now to go ahead and save that information, we just uh, click on the X and we'll return to our entity desktop to continue with the process. Now to go ahead and demonstrate that rename feature, we can go ahead and rename our schema to the desired name and it will prompt us again to uh, rename all the schema occurrences. We want to tell it yes at this point. And as you can see, it has gone and uh, renamed the schema for us. there are two more tables that are associated with our particular project and you simply complete the steps that were previously demonstrated assign the data elements as you would require them and we'll take a look at this last table here also and we'll notice that uh, it has the columns in there that are required and so now we're set and ready for the next phase of uh, this particular pro project which will be the, the forward engineering. Now we have our models in place we simply go up to the database uh, menu item and we move down to forward engineering and click that once and here you have uh, an example of some of the options that are available you want to be careful using the generate drop schema because once this executes it will as the name implies uh, destroy the entire database so you want to be careful with that particular feature and you simply click the next button and then it wants to ask you a question about uh, those three tables that are in our model 
and we'll go ahead and click next and in here you can see the actual uh, SQL code that is going to be used to accomplish this. You have the option at this point to save that information to a file or to copy it to a clipboard. And to complete the foreign engineering process, simply click on the next button. And that, that uh, places you at this particular dialog. And you select uh, one of the valid connections that you have available for database uh, management manipul manipulations. And then to complete the process, you simply click the execute control. And as you can see, it says that it has connected to the DBMS and it has executed the Ford engineering script. To wrap up the process, simply click on the file menu item and then the close tab and as you can see we're returned to the desktop uh, for subsequent processing.